Right, the left going after the president-elect pick for Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, declaring her enemy number one ahead of her big hearing on Capitol Hill tomorrow. Ms. DeVos supports school vouchers. She supports charter schools. She supports school choice. She has vowed to shake up the entire broken education system. You see, she actually wants to see some real change in our schools. And what's the problem with that? Well, Democrats are just furious about this nomination, absolutely livid, because you know what? Her changes will empower parents, not the teachers' unions. And the Dems pretty much in the bag for the unions, as we know. Joining me right now, conservative commentator Gina Laden and Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall. Gina, you know, I don't know how you in good conscience can look at a mother in the eye who wants the best opportunity for her child and knows that if she just had a school voucher, if she could make that choice herself for her child, she wouldn't send that child to some lousy public school that is just churning kids out, putting them through, going through the motions. She would give her child the best opportunity. Why don't we want that for every child in America? Why, are the, why is the left standing in the way of this one? It is all about money and power, and, and this issue threatens their very existence. Trish, you know, my husband was a state senator in Missouri, and I remember how hard the teachers' unions would work against him, not just in terms of money, but also in terms of manpower. You wanted turnout at the polls. You wanted people to help you in your campaign, and uh, the, the Democrats always had those teachers' unions that would come out in force for them. DeVos is a special enemy of theirs, and here's why. She has beaten them handily. A group that she's affiliated with only spent $5 million to their $138 million for a school choice, uh, for some school choice races, Trish. And they won 105 out of 121 of those races on their little tiny shoestring budget. If she can do that it, where, if, it, with that group, imagine what she can do as Secretary of Education. So, yeah, they've got a, a vendetta. Leslie, you know, I don't get it. The left, uh, you know, they say they're trying to work for poor kids, for minority children in urban communities that deserve a better education. And instead of giving parents choice and giving kids opportunity, they believe in just writing more checks to the school system to the unions and continuing status quo. Why can't there be more accountability in public schools? Well, first of all, the concern I find, not only as a mother of an eight and nine year old sitting right behind me, by the way, mm. uh, but in, in addition to the Democrats, it's not just about unions because a lot of parents have nothing to do with the unions of political involvement. There are many public school systems in the United States. One I went to in the Boston area, not far from where you grew up as well, Trish, uh, that was an excellent public school system. So when you talk about choice, there are some people that would choose public schools. If you're looking at inner cities like Detroit, which definitely have a very broken system, you know what, a voucher isn't going to necessarily fix that because not every child is going to be accept, accepted to a charter school or a private school. And where does the money come from? Is there going to be enough money to pay for that schooling? So the problem here is the polarization of this nominee. And the problem here is that she's all the way on the opposite side of many so, Democrats. So just, Some Democrats I, I just want like, public schools. Yeah. But I think most people want a, a combination I guess the of problem, choice and public. I guess the problem is... You know, we're doing things here for the lowest common denominator, Gina, over and over again. You know, we, we should be trying to help the majority of kids rather than, you know, worrying about a couple that can't get in. I, I mean, we've we got to think about a common good here, right? And we want the best possible education for as many students as possible. And can't we introduce competition to that? education system, which right now, you know, frankly, you get a job as a teacher and you're there for good. It's like tenure. Good teachers want it. Uh, good administrators want it. Good public schools should want school choice. Um, everybody who's interested in the best possible education for our children should want school choice because it not only gives parents and children a lot more options and gives children a lot better mm -hmm. chance to flourish in a more specified and, and perhaps tailored uh, educational setting, but it also does ultimately save in costs. So those concerns that Leslie has, um, and yet that they're going out. After her. They're going perhaps. after her hard. They do not like what she represents. She does, they do not like the threat that she represents. And the unions, they're scared. The teachers' union is scared right now, but maybe that's how they should feel.